What is our second main topic today? John, our second main topic comes to us from Lachlan Morris. Variety reported earlier today that Keanu Reeves has left Martin Scorsese's and Leonardo DiCaprio's new Hulu show, The Devil in the White City, only two months after he was confirmed to be part of the project. Variety also reports that director Todd Field has left the project. Yeesh. I hadn't heard of the show before this news, but after reading the synopsis, I'm bummed that he won't be taking part. Is this simply a case of creative differences? Would love to hear your thoughts on the news. Thanks, and bring on the filthy. All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah, this is really unfortunate because it wasn't that long ago that we talked on this show about Keanu Reeves taking on his first lead starring role in a television series. And, and we were all so excited about that. You got uh, DiCaprio involved, you got Scorsese involved, like, and the sound of it sounded great. For those of you who don't know much about it, this comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter. He wrote, based on Eric Larson's novel, Devil Revolves Around Daniel H. Burnham, the role formerly to have been played by Keanu Reeves, a demanding but visionary architect who races to make his mark on history with the 1893 Chicago World's Fair and Dr. H.H. H. Holmes, America's first modern serial killer and the man behind the notorious murder castle built in the fair's shadow. Leonardo DiCaprio is not expected to have an on-screen role as of press time. And that again comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter. So yeah, we initially heard that Keanu Reeves had walked. It was about 24 hours later that we found out that Todd Field, who is getting a lot of recognition right now, has also decided to walk. I've heard no official explanation for it, but clearly the two have to be tied to each other uh, for the reasons for both of them leaving. Otherwise, it kind of goes beyond the realm of coincidence that maybe both of them had separate issues with the project that made them both leave about the same time. So this is really unfortunate to hear about this because this is a project I've been really looking forward to. Like Scorsese's got this in Killers of the Flower Moon coming up that he's actually directing that one. But I was really excited about this and to see Keanu in a role like this. But Rob... You hear about them walking away? What do you think about it? I'm bummed out. I read this book and this book when it first came out. The book's incredible. And I was excited to see this even getting made, especially with the pedigree of the people working. I'm a Todd Field who has tar out in theaters. Or I don't know if it's open. Is tar opened? Oh, I, it might not have opened, but he did the movie Little Children, mm. which which I loved. And he did that in like 2006. And tar is. By first, the way, tar's getting some Oscar buzz. Yeah. And tar is the first movie he's made in that in in 15 years and the fact that he was attached to this i mean it, i thought he was a great choice to do this this really bums me out because losing the director and losing the star leads me to believe that it was probably really a case of creative differences right there was something so legitimately uh something happened i think hopefully they'll be able to put this back together somehow um but i hope it happens it bums me out that it's not Christian, you hear about this again. I mean, today's theme seems to be directors leaving. What do you think about this one? Uh, it could be a lot of different things. It could be exactly what you guys are saying, and it could be one of these. Keanu Reeves is known to be a very loyal dude, so it might be one of these things that he's got this relationship with the director. Director's not happy. He's like, I'm going to walk two guys. That could have. That could be. Could it. be. Yeah. That's part one. The other thing is he just he's he's in talks to direct his Berserker thing that he's doing. So maybe yeah. that's taken up a lot of his time, right? Maybe he wants maybe to Maybe it was a scheduling thing. Could have been. Okay, maybe maybe he really wants to focus on that. Director's like, nah, I really wanted to work with Keanu. I'm out also, right? Possible. But the other thing that you read inside of that report is Leonardo DiCaprio not set to be on camera. He better start thinking about it now. Yeah. Um, you know, because that, that's a that's a way you save this thing if you put him yeah. in it right away and you say if you and when I say save, I mean keep it on track for to to you put him in it and people go, well it sucks you lost Keanu, but DiCaprio starring in a TV show, you'll save. Aren't, or don't you? Haven't you now put yourself behind the eight ball a little bit? Because if Keanu Reeves walks, it's almost like whoever they bring in now, it's like, yeah, but it was going to be Keanu Reeves. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio was a name that could go above that, though. Yes, within this type of show or our circle, yeah. No one else who they're trying to market is going to even know Keanu was probably attached by the that's, time. That's it comes a good out. point. Now, yeah. if they bring out, depending on how big the star is, or even if it isn't a big star and it's a person that just happens to be right for the role and it turns out to be a hit show, then it'll turn into, hey, did you know at one point Keanu Reeves was supposed to do this show? Yeah. That's what will happen. It's a matter of how, they got to get the right director. They got to get everyone kind of set into the role. But if they want to really accelerate it, you got to get some star power quick. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? I mean, Keanu Reeves was going to star in this. We were all quite excited about it. Now it's lost him. It's lost his director. I'm still curious about the project. Fact of the matter is it's still Scorsese and DiCaprio production. So you're going to have my interest, but I've lost a little bit of my enthusiasm now. How about you guys? Whatever you think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your 
thoughts. We want to take a second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Now guys, you know I love Manscaped. You've heard me go on and on about the Lawnmower 4.0 and mm, that body wash. I love it so much. And so we got to ask, guys, have you started your spring cleaning yet? The carpets need cleaning, the drapes need dusting, and your lawn needs mowing, gentlemen. And you guys know Manscaped is more than just one product. They have a whole lineup of products to help you guys feeling, smelling, and looking your best. And so Manscaped is proud to present to you the Performance Package 4.0, which is the only tool that you need to keep your boys looking, smelling, and feeling good this spring. Now, to start off with, you get the Lawnmower 4.0. Guys, we have talked about this. What is wrong with us? Why have we for so long been using these terrible tools that were never meant for cutting our hair down there? The razor clipper things on our electric razors. That's barbaric, guys. You need the Lawnmower 4.0. And then there's the Weed Whacker. You guys have heard our own Ray Aura talk about this, and he loves using it to get that hair in your nose and the ear hair. And then they offer lots of other stuff like the Crop Preserver. It's an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. The Crop Reviver. It's a spray on toner for your balls. And of course, they've got the perfect grooming tool for your face with the Plow 2.0, the perfect razor for the finest shave on that face. So guys, get 20% off plus free shipping with the code CAMPIA. That's C-A-M-P-E-A at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the promo code Campia at manscaped.com. It's time to throw out your old hygiene habits and upgrade your life.